Scripts are dumb. Everybody uses scripts are dumb. People asking for scripts is dumb. Scripts are dumb. That's what I used to think, at least. As I come to better sales enlightenment, I've came to understand scripts aren't dumb. The way that everybody has done scripts is dumb. The way that info marketers provide scripts is dumb because they're not giving you truly what you need when you get the script. You know, they say to never make fun of somebody who mispronounces a word because it means that they read it somewhere and that's where they learned that word. I think that's very true, right? But what that means is that when you read a word, it sounds one way in your head. When I read a word, it sounds one way in my head. When she reads a word, it sounds one way. You see where I'm going? Just reading that, is not going to allow you to apply in this arena where every word matters and every intonation matters and everything that you do and say matters because you know what time the negotiation starts when you're talking to a seller. Let me ask you, at what point in time does the negotiation start? Well, most of you, as I read your mind through the computer, probably are like, well, from the time that I sit down at the table and ruffle the contracts, well, from the first no, that's when the negotiation starts. Well, from the, well, from the, you know what I know when the first sign of a negotiation starts? Hi, this is Grant. That's when the negotiation starts for you. Every single thing you say, every bit of intonation, every pause, every encouragement that you have has to do with whether or not you get that deal. Now, if you don't know how to read a script, and understand that in the person who wrote its head, these words are pronounced this way, and in your head, they're pronounced the other way, that script is useless to you. There is no magical, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this script to my seller, and then all of a sudden, the skies will part, and oh, and I pull the sword out of the stone, and confetti flies, and a Lamborghini shows up, and I've got money all of a sudden. That's not how a script works. A script is merely a proof of concept, a converting situation that utilizes the understanding of negotiating language, the understanding of the three phases of a sales approach, the understanding of the head, heart, gut principle. And if you don't know how to read a script, in such a way that you are understanding the psychology behind it, the intonations that need to be given from you and how your seller may receive it, then you are not utilizing the script well enough and you're probably not converting near to the rate that you could be. And so you have to understand first and foremost yourself. You have to understand how you approach sales. You have to understand how you influence others. You have to understand how you come off. And if the person who's provided you your scripts in the past is not focused on that, then they've done you a disservice. And if you have watched anything or learned anything about negotiating and scripts and not focused on that and purely been like, I'm gonna use the words that they wrote in this thing, you have done a disservice to yourself. So click the link, check us out. We are going to blow your mind in changing the whole reality of how a script works because what we're doing here is we're giving you some extremely high quality scripts, scripts that convert, right? I convert from, from my net leads out of marketing. I typically have an 80, 85 plus percent conversion rate of deals. Now, a lot of that has to do with being able to do different types of acquisitions from creative financing to wholesaling to flipping to whatever, which I also encourage you to know. But a lot of it is done because we've studied the art of sales and had a lot of practice behind it, right? And I want to pass that on to you. We want you to understand what it truly takes to be heard because what's said and what's heard are two completely different things. And we want you to understand how to say what needs to be heard. Words are words, context and language is everything. And you need to respect your seller enough to speak their language. If the seller speaks French, there's no way you should go into the sale trying to speak English to them. So similarly, you need to read these scripts and understand how you are influenced, how you have influence on others. That's step one. Step two is to look at how the seller hears things and how do you understand how they hear things. That's step two. Step three is, okay, so now you figured out how you are able to edit these things and have influence and use this script, which is so wonderful. Now I'm gonna hire a salesperson and I'm gonna hand them mine because I've improved on the script. Guess what? You didn't improve on the script. You improved on your ability to use what was in that script in an influential manner. And if you don't know how to pass that knowledge, to your salesperson. Have fun having built a system around you that forces you to continue buying houses for the rest of your life because you just can't find anybody who can convert like you. So if any of that rings true, click the link. We are going to blow your mind in training you how to understand the psychology, not only behind scripting, but how to apply it to yourself, how to apply it to others, and how to understand the language that needs to be heard on the other side of the table when you are in that sales situation. I'm Grant Kemp from creativecashflow.com. Thanks for joining us here. I look forward to seeing you there.